If you're a fan of Jurassic World Evolution 2 and you're a fan of Camp Cretaceous, then the moment you have been waiting for is coming on March 8th, the introduction of the Scorpius Rex into our Jurassic World Evolution 2 parks. The species profile just dropped, so we're gonna check that out together. The Scorpius Rex was Dr. Henry Wu's first hybrid dinosaur. With terrifying spines and razor-sharp talons, this highly unpredictable creature was deemed far too dangerous to ever be showcased. Until now. The species profile starts out with a very appropriate and menacing glitch effect. Unstable species, extreme caution advised. And that is for the Scorpius Rex. Of course, the Scorpius Rex came into the Jurassic World franchise, not just through Dr. Wu's evil manipulation of genomes, but also through a technical error caused by Kenji, uh, one of the Camp Cretaceous characters. But now the Scorpius Rex is not only a reality within the series, it is also a reality within our Jurassic World Evolution 2 parks. And I'm just, I'm sort of laughing at this phonetic spelling over here, the Scorpius Rex. Scorpius. Scar! <laughs> Scar! I'm sorry, I should not do that. Anyway, the Scorpius Rex looks true to form. It looks very, very series accurate. I've only watched the series once myself, so maybe minute details other people are more qualified to pick up on. But for me, this looks exactly like straight out of the series. And that only makes sense. I'm assuming that they were given access to the model that they used to animate the series itself. And that's why it just it just looks spot on with the with its like wide derpy face, the the teeth, the quills. We don't know yet if it actually uses those quills. That's not really showcased in this video. What we do see in this video is Toro? Right? That I mean that has to be the Toro skin. And it's attacking poor, poor Toro over here. It's launching at him, grabbing it by the neck, and then it just flings him, just like he weighs absolutely nothing, just flings him across the field, and that's the end of Toro, and with the, with the scream that's straight out of the series, you know, just imagine lightning in the background, and then this is essentially that exact scene from Camp Cretaceous. That is definitely the Scorpius Rex. I'm personally not the biggest fan of hybrids overall, I'm personally not the biggest fan of the Scorpius Rex's design, although I will say that the body is pretty cool, I'm, I'm just really struggling with the face mostly. But I, I know how many people want this hybrid in the game, so I'm just excited by proxy i'm excited for you guys and that just makes me really happy because i know how many people are freaking out right now and thinking to themselves oh my god it's finally happening you know the same thing i had with like the individually placeable trees so i'm happy for you and i'll definitely be playing around with this in my own parks as well we have three hybrids in the game with the scorpius rex so we can do some interesting stuff with that and i'm definitely going to do that uh, the way Toro just rolls over, it's kind of sad. Port Toro is seriously never catching a break, is he? Now, there are already some differences in how it fights. Note that it's not, you know, like, using its right arm here. It's it's only latching on with its left claw and its jaws. It's it's not using the, the left arm. That's kind of interesting. But it, it's already using new animations as it fights Toro. Oh, he does scratch at his face there, I think. Yeah, he, yeah, he scratches at his face. But yeah, you know, in terms of animations, it'll be interesting to see what the Scorpius Rex does differently because it's such an entirely different kind of creature. The way it just moves is entirely different. So I'm excited to see what kind of different animations they came up for for this creature. The Scorpius Rex is a little wounded before it goes in for the finishing blow towards Toro. So I'm guessing that Toro did manage to fight back a little bit, but it's being completely owned by the Scorpius Rex. And I'm guessing it's going to be a very strong hybrid. Although I wonder how it's going to square up against like Indoraptor and Indominus Rex. I wonder if it's going to be able to beat those. 
since it's canonically their predecessor, you might think that the other two are stronger, you know, more improved through Dr. Wu's research. But we'll have to wait until March 8th to see how those battles play out. I also wonder what's going to happen, like, does it climb fences? There's, there's all sorts of questions, and I'm just really, really curious to see how... How glitchy this dinosaur is really going to behave in our parks. That's really all I have to say about this video. There's honestly not a lot or really anything going on in the background that's worth talking about. But share your excitement in a comment down below. Let me know if you are going to get the Camp Cretaceous Dinosaur Pack. And what you're going to be doing with the Scorpius Rex come March 8th. Thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing and until next time. Enjoy the game. Mm -hmm.